All right, guys. So this is going to be the review of the um, Edel Chrome Slider One Pro with the app. That way, you guys can uh, see how to use it, uh, what to look for, what is what, and also give you more information on how you can use it on an iPhone using iOS. So first and most, we want to see here is the app. What you want to do is actually as soon as you put the battery in the actual Slider One Pro, it will beep for like a couple of seconds. And let me try that so you guys can see. I'm going to disconnect it right now. And the app automatically disengage. So the, the moment you put the battery back on in here, So that's what it does. It actually goes a couple of beats and move from one point to the other, uh, kind of establishing ground. And then therefore the app automatically pairs up directly uh, with the device. It's pretty simple. The battery uh, seems to last a long time and the app seems to be very robust and work perfect. It automatically connects. It doesn't really have that much problem connecting. So in here, in the first layout of the app, what we can see right here is actually uh, a top part panel of it which is actually lets you uh, manipulate with the finger uh, at the very top let's see here so we got left and right and then top to bottom high to low what that's going to do is going to you can tap on any part of the screen and then um, drag the actual slider depending on how fast or how fast you want it to go right there so for example if I tap on it you can go up or down let's see if I can make it there to focus a little bit for you guys uh, let me see right there all right so now I can just let it go then go like that I can also drag the speed of how I want the slider to go so as you can see the slider is now moving I can bring it down and slow down the speed. I can also make it go back really, really fast as I'm going up or slow as I'm getting there. I can let go and it will stop automatically there. Again, I can drag it this way. And all I'm doing right here, guys, as you see, you guys can see, it's reflex. That's the part and bring it back down cool so go to a go to b uh right here and then that allows you to go from one point to another uh slowly when you tap the slide uh, button that goes very slow so as you can see the actual it's moving there real slow you can stop it and it'll go back and it makes that weird noise <laughs> and then it does it again and in here showing you actually where is the tracking what's the tracking to and it gets to the end and it stops there right there the other part that I want to show you guys as well is actually the the one that says go to B so right now B is on this side and what we want to do is actually tap B right there go to B and it will move very quickly so you can align your shot there in that area if you want to go to A you tap on A and then move there another thing you can do right here is actually also adjust the duration of the slide that way you know how fast and how long that uh, slide the duration is gonna last right now I have it set here to 29.9 but this part right here is when you can actually slide it down and it will change the numbers and it will be from uh, speed percentage and also duration in seconds let me uh, get a little bit close alright so in here you can see the drag 
and the speed if I drag it to the left that's zero percent if I drag it this way it will go the speed uh, and higher in percentage and also the duration increases depending on how long you want the duration of that slide to be so you can drag anyway and it will move the duration of the speed uh, so let's say I want the speed to be zero percent zero percent that's gonna be super slow that's gonna take 7940 seconds but if I wanted to speed up a little bit then I can just drag all the way up and then also speed up the speed and the seconds will go down so I usually keep it during 10 to 15 seconds that way uh, the slide you can kind of notice some of the slide in it and then if you do it too high you will almost barely not notice at all so that's 46 percent uh, 0.3 right there and let's take a look at how that looks so now that we have it here set I'm just gonna do slide and it's gonna start moving that is at 46.3 percent and it gets to the end and it's done you can also uh, speed it up like I said you can increase the speed let's do let's do 60 let's do 70 70 percent and do a slide and that will go much faster there you see now it tells you right there uh, how fast it's going to be and then also another thing that you can do so now we're over here at B we could also allow us to change what point A and point B is one thing that we can do this is actually by going to A and let the seller move to the location right so now we're gonna hit move to B and we're gonna let it slide a little bit we're gonna stop it there we're gonna set that 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 now is A we're gonna hit it again and that's gonna go to another section and we're gonna stop it and we're gonna set that 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 is now B so now that we have those two options right there that's the one that is actually allowing us to see which is A which is B we can go back to A and it stops right there and then we can hit slide and now that goes from point A to point B with the new location set to erase it all we got to do is actually tap on the top and then move all the way back until the actual slider pro goes all the way to the end now you go back and set that as A and then slide all the way out we're here move all the way up and then now set that back as B so now you're back to where you started so there you go guys that was a quick rundown of the app with the uh, Elder Chrome uh, Slider 1 Pro it's going to be um, very useful use it all the time I wish I could use it with other devices that way I don't have to rely only on my iPhone but I think you can use it with other device I just uh, haven't really tried it yet but just to give you something uh, more here so the status it says that is ready at the very top again you can control everything here with the finger you can change your speed and also your um, high and low reflexes on the uh, slider again you can set this here your mark at point A point B and here you can also set the speed uh, that give you also the duration and the speed also down here this is where you can actually control from going from point A to point B uh, mark new points as point A and point B and the other one's going to be your stop motion and your time lapse so when you go into time lapse it requires the cable so it gets you, lets you go in it but you won't be able to do anything as far as uh, shooting because it requires the cable to be plugged right here into the camera the other thing also uh, on this side is a stop motion and this one is when you'll be able to again with the provided cable uh, take photos and then uh, make it into a frame by frame kind of situation uh, I'm mainly going to be using the camera controls right here with the uh, slider one pro uh, sliding so that was a 
a look at the uh, app right here with the uh, Slider One Pro. So if you like this video and you want to be awesome and want to give it a thumbs up, make sure you hit that uh, thumbs up button and also uh, subscribe to my channel. That way you know when I'm putting new videos and also uh, check me on my social media. It's going to be uh, Instagram and Twitter, RafiRed underscore. And then I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Peace.